Hello and welcome to this very special event, this time of witness, of testimony, when we will hear our confirmation students sharing their faith stories with us. My name is Joe Jorgensen. I am the Director of Faith Formation here at Christiania Lutheran Church, and it has been my honor to spend the last few years with this group of young people, uh, particularly the last year, uh, really talking about what it means to be a Christian in the world and, and how do we live out our life uh, day to day. Uh, tonight you will hear some great stories, um, and I want to applaud this group for rising to the challenge. You know, sharing our, our faith stories is not an easy task. It can be intimidating. We may not know where to start. Um, and many of us as adults uh, hesitate to jump into you know, sharing our faith stories with other people. So I really do want to lift up uh, the, this group of people for, uh, for stepping up and for taking, uh, you know, having the courage to take this step to share their faith. Uh, to, to reflect on where they've been and where they're headed in their journeys uh, with God. As you listen to these stories tonight, I would encourage you to reflect on your own faith journey. Think about uh, some of those milestones in your life where you knew that God was truly present, and maybe think about where God is calling you to be in the future. And uh, maybe you'll even feel inspired to share that, that story or some of those uh, reflections with someone else can be a great witness, a great testimony, a great model uh, for our family members and friends to be able to share uh, our relationship with God. So uh, I am very much looking forward to, uh, to this evening and to these uh, stories, and I hope you are as well. Let us begin with a word of prayer. Most holy God, we give you thanks. We give you thanks for our voices. Voices that share our story. Voices that communicate our relationship with you. Be with us. Help us to have open hearts, open minds, open ears. That as we hear these stories, we might reflect on our own journey. And we might come to grow in relationship with you. Bless this group of confirmands. Continue to wrap them in your embrace. Make your presence known to them on this day and always. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. My name is Madison Burnham. My parents' name are Tony and Tia Burnham, and this is my faith statement. The Lord is my strength and my defense. He has become my salvation. He is my God, and I will praise him. My Father's God, and I will exalt him. Exodus 15, 2. For me, this verse connects to my life because when I'm struggling, I look for God for answers. Before I started going to church, I didn't really understand what it meant to ask God for help or guidance. After I started going to church, I began to grow a relationship with my faith. The few years of Sunday school I did really helped me understand how amazing God is. But it all started to come together when confirmation started. My faith journey has grown so much. If I'm stressed about something like school, I pray to God for guidance. Or if I feel like somebody else needs some help or guidance, I'll pray for them. Going to Sunday worship, Sunday school, confirmation, trips with church, and all of the other little things I have done with church has been one of the most important things in my life. Those things have really helped me understand how amazing my faith journey is and how much I have grown within, and how amazing my God is. My confirmation class may be over, but my faith journey isn't. I'm excited to continue growing my relationship with God and making new memories in church. My name is Nathan, and my parents are Amy and Kevin Madiak. A lot of faith statements I've heard have been about tragic things that have happened to people that have brought them closer to God. Mine won't be like that because my life has been very blessed. I have loving parents that take care of me and my sister. We have a roof over our head and food on our plates. So I don't need to pray that God can help me through my tough times, but I pray that he helps me through everything else. I pray to God that my life keeps going the way it is. I pray that my family and friends continue to be healthy and that there will always be a roof over my head and food on my plate. 
In my life, my relationship with God hasn't always been as strong as it is now. A couple weeks ago in class, we talked about faith, and I didn't really understand what faith meant to me. But as weeks went on, I got to understand more about faith and what it meant to me. Through this, I strengthened my relationship with God. My favorite Bible verse is 2 Chronicles 15, 7. It says, but as for you, be strong and don't give up for your work will be rewarded. This quote is my favorite because it has helped me through tough times in sports. It shows me that if I work hard, I will be rewarded in the end. I want to thank Joe and John for leading me through this journey. I'd also like to thank my parents and my sister for bringing me to confirmation. Lastly, I'd like to thank everyone else that has helped me find the path of my faith and got me through these four long years of confirmation. Thank you. Hi, my name is Jack McGregor. I'm the son of Brian and Sarah McGregor, and here's my faith statement. I have always felt close to God, but sometimes in my life, I don't understand what is happening around me. And through my faith journey, I have begun to realize that I need to trust in the Lord and he will show me what to do. A big part of my faith journey has been visiting the residents at Highview Hills. I love to talk with them and listen to the stories they have to share. Visiting Highview brought me closer to God while I talked to my great grandma T and Fred Von Fisher. But sadly, over the past summer, both have passed away. I was devastated. How could God just take away two people in my life that I love so quickly? I turned to God in prayer. This helped me grow closer to God because I realized that I didn't have to have an explanation of what or why something happened, but I just needed to trust in God with all my heart. And that leads me into my Bible verse. Proverbs 3 verses 5 through 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. Seek his will in all you do, and he will show you which path to take. To me, this Bible verse means that even if I don't understand what is going on or what is happening, if I trust in the Lord, he will show me the way and that everything will be all right. Hello, my name is Pete Rhodes. My parents are John and Missy. My verse I have chosen for my faith statement is Joshua 1 9. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. I believe God shows up in things when you need him most and always believe he will come is what I saw from that verse. I saw God when my grandma died. My grandma had been sick for a couple months before she died. She had been progressively getting worse and worse every day. On her last couple of nights, my family and I were able to be around her a lot, which was great. It was amazing that we got to spend a lot of time with her during her sickness. On her last breath, I gave my grandma a hug. It was a very sad moment, but I thought it was really amazing that God gave us that chance that he doesn't give everyone. After, at her funeral, when we were playing songs, we saw butterflies all around, which I believe is God. I think God can show himself inside things like an animal or a butterfly. I think God shows up exactly when you need him most. Not when you really want something like making a team or something like that. I think God helps you through tough th things in life by surrounding you with people and things you need most. After confirmation, I will continue to grow my faith by going to church and doing things that we have every week at church. I am not sure yet what God wants in my life. Hi, I'm Whitley Ron and my parents are Lance and Kelly Ron. Faith, by definition, it means a complete trust or confidence in someone or something. But this definition is just from a dictionary. It's just one sentence to sum up a whole journey. This adventure started a very long time ago with my baptism. Even though it was the first step on my amazing faith journey and I cannot quite remember it, it still heavily affected me and is an important milestone. My faith journey continued with my start of Sunday school and weekly Sunday church visits. But today, I'm here to talk about God in my daily life. Though God is not shown in gigantic ways, but in small, simple ways. An example is waking up. This is very overlooked, but life is a gift and every day is not promised. But day to day, God gives us it. God has also been shown in many important parts of my life, including recently in the past two years, both my grandparents were diagnosed with cancer and sadly passed away. This was a very tragic part of my life for me and my family to go through. But this is the first time I started to question God's methods. 
But now I look back and realize God gave us a blessing in disguise. I saw this in the fact that I got to spend a multitude of time with my grandparents in their last moments. With them living five hours away, we did not get to see them as often as we would like. But we had a blessing of getting to spend a lot of memories and making a lot more time with them before we lost them. This moment was very impactful on my faith journey and overall taught me that God has a purpose for every task he performs. A Bible verse I would like to connect to my faith journey in this part of my life is Romans 8.18. This says, the pain you are feeling cannot compare to the joy that is coming. I interpret this as God gave you this life and woke you up today for a reason. No matter what pain you are going through, he has a plan and a goal for you. He believes you can handle the pain and will love the joy that is coming. I, though I have talked a lot about where God has helped me in times of weakness, he has also blessed me with many things, including my loving parents and brother, my friends, and overall the congregation of Christiania, who has helped me throughout this faith journey. God is a person I can depend on in times of need and a person I can thank for times of joy. I will continue my faith journey and better myself along the way. Even though I am not always at church, I can connect to God through prayer and many other ways. This overall faith in God helps me go forward in life. Even when it would be the worst day of my life, I will always have God to look back for guidance and to fall back on. And for this, I'm extremely grateful. Hi, my name is Wyatt Ron and my parents are Kelly and Lance Ron. I feel like I've lived a pretty average life when it comes to teenagers in Minnesota. I started going to school when I was young and went up grade by grade each year. I play sports in my free time and socialize when I can. The only thing that I think sets me apart from the average kid my age is I experience a good bit of loss. The first time I experienced loss is when my dog Drake died. I don't have really any fond memories of Drake, but I still think he taught me an important lesson. He taught me that everyone I know won't be here forever, and I need to enjoy these people while they're here. This was later screwed into my mind when one of my grandfathers passed away. Again, I have very few memories with him, and I think I should have spent more time with him, and I would have if he had if got more time. During these two experiences, God was with me and was telling me about these lessons. He kept me at my high experience, so I would value these lessons into later life. Years went by, and I, I was experiencing no loss until my grandma was going through tough times. The doctor only gave her a few weeks to live, but she lived for multiple years. I think that this was God trying to tell me to spend more time with her. I did spend more time with her, and I, I have some memories that I wish keep with me the rest of my life. A similar thing happened to my other grandfather. He lived longer than the doctor said he would. He even spent a summer with us at our house, and I, I got a lot of memories with him that I would keep to my later life. During my life, God taught me these lessons about my life. He taught me to appreciate people while they're here and remember them when they're not. He gave me more chances to be with my dying grandparents. God helped me get through my tough times and made sure the ones I lost will be with me in my future. I look forward to for God to keep showing him my life and teaching me lessons that, that will help me for my future. My name is Lance Thompson and my parents are Dan and Stacy. My family has been a big role model for me in my faith journey. I was baptized at Christiania and have attended this church my whole life. My parents got married here and my grandparents attend this church as well. My church family includes more than just my immediate family. I remember attending Sunday school with many of the people that are getting confirmed right now. I have learned that at church you can find a great community that will help and support you if you ever need it. I have not had any big challenges challenging my faith, but it is comforting to know that I can and will be supported by my family and church community. As life's challenges come my way, I plan to use prayer to help me get through them. I want to use God as my strength to get through both good and bad times. A verse that, a verse that reminds me of the importance of prayer and my church community is Psalms 27:14. Wait for the Lord, be strong and take heart and wait for the Lord. This verse has a lot of meaning to me. I wait for the Lord for comfort and support. I will, wait, uh, yeah, I will use this verse along with prayer with, for guidance and strength. I'm thankful for my church 
family, for my family and church community, and my faith in God to get me through all things. Hi, my name is Owen, and my parents are Jody Wilkins and Andy Wilkins. Hi, my name is Owen. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them, for the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Deuteronomy 31.6 I started off just looking at what grew my faith journey, and as I was thinking, I found it. I've had some experiences that just do not make sense. Like why did my uncle die when he was such a fun loving guy? Although I have not really reflected on my faith, I'm going to now. Growing up, my parents always pushed me to have a strong faith in God. Although I sometimes question it, and I'm sure I still will, I've always trusted God. The older you get, the more you question everything and want answers. I never received answers to some things like why my uncle had to die. I got thinking about it and I was by his side in the hospital until his last breath. He was so cracking jokes even when he could barely talk and he got the words out. It took me a few years and I've never cried so much in a day, but I realized one thing. He is now in a much better place. Life hasn't always gone the way that I've wanted it and it's been hard at times but I've always believed I've always played kids that are much bigger and maybe even stronger than me in the sports but I pray before some games and the ones I have I have done much better and so has my team as you get older you start to realize that God is always there for you and nothing will ever change that I chose my verse because I have always learned to stay strong in sports and even with my own faith. When you lose someone that you wish you, or that you love like crazy early because of a health condition, it is very hard and I would never wish anything like that to happen to anybody. I believe the role of Christians and our church is to always be kind and love everyone. I have another uncle named Uncle Greg, and he is one of my role models just because he is such a strong believer in God, and he is always in a good mood spreading positivity. The people I have met in this church or any other church have always made my day much brighter. I may be having a bad day and nothing may be going right for me, but when I get into the church, my ch mood changes for the better. I best connect with God when I am praying before games. Without everyone in church, I, it would be so hard to keep moving on in church and being happy. I want to keep growing my connection with God and keep growing my faith. I believe strength and courage are all you need to keep a strong faith in God. In conclusion, you should give God all your love and trust and He will never break your promise. God loves you no matter what. Have a great day. May the Lord bless us and keep us. May the Lord's face shine on us with graciousness and with mercy. May the Lord look upon us with favor and give us peace. Join me praying uh, the prayer Christ taught. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Friends, it has been a great night. It's been a great uh, number of years journeying with these uh, young people. I want to take a moment and thank all that have uh, made faith possible to this point. Thank you, uh, God, first of all. Thank you, uh, Christiania, and uh, thank you, families. 
Uh, we thank you for uh, confirmation director and mentors that have been journeying with uh, these young people. We thank you for Sunday school teachers they've had uh, throughout the years. We thank you for parents, for grandparents, for godparents and sponsors. And we thank you for all those who have uh, willingly engaged in conversations about who God is, who have shared a witness of Christ, um, all with the express pur purpose of helping these young people draw into loving and trusting God. Um, that job continues. It needs to continue for all of us, and I encourage you to continue in those uh, conversations. We call on God's Holy Spirit to empower what's next. I mean, even faith, we believe, is a gift of God empowered by the Holy Spirit. And so let's continue to pray for them that they will um, continue to grow in love and trust, um, that they will uh, not just speak uh, godly things, but do godly things. And I uh, have so much excitement and anticipation for their futures. Um, don't you feel hopeful after hearing uh, their, their stories of faith uh, thus far? And don't you want to hear more? I sure do. Uh, one of the blessings uh, that we give uh, each of the young people as they affirm baptismal promises sounds like this. You may remember uh, it from other years. You'll hear it uh, this Sunday. Stir up the gift of your Holy Spirit, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord, the spirit of joy in your presence both now and forever. Um, I want to invite you all to join us 11 a.m. on Sunday as our young people affirm baptismal promises, uh, parents and sponsors made on their behalf long ago. Um, we'll meet at the church. Uh, let your uh, student know that you intend to come. He can pass it along to us. Or you can uh, register online at ChristianiaLutheranChurch.org. Let us know you're going to be there. Uh, masks are a necessity. We'll uh, practice distancing, and it'll be a great uh, day to remember um, not only our own confirmations, but to remember what it is to be uh, a new adult in the faith, in the congregation. Let's pray uh, together. Thanksgiving for uh, where we are, where we found ourselves, and for what is yet to come. And uh, my prayer on behalf of Christiania is that we do a great job in the days to come of uh, remembering our promise, our part in a baptism, to pray and support uh, families, and now to create space for young people, responsibilities and roles to, um, to share, and invitations to send. So I hope you'll join me, uh, not just in congratulating but into ushering these young people into the next steps of faith as we love and trust God and love and trust people. Amen.